What is up guys, my name is Meeps and welcome back for yet another League of Legends video. So today we are continuing our road to Diamond and I thought today that we were going to try and play a little bit of Jin. This is a super fun ADC and uh, probably one of those that I think most people uh, really enjoy, especially at the moment where he's actually really, really, really good. Um, so this is what we're going to be playing. It's going to be pretty interesting. We are playing against a... Senna and Misfortune and I have a Soraka on my team so it's gonna be kind of a slow lane I think we'll see I uh, will kind of see how things turn out and how they actually play it by the way for those of you who are new in here then make sure to go down below subscribe to the channel uh, to join in and follow our journey slash adventure to diamond um, and of course if you do want to see me live then go to twitch.tv dash meeps underscore live. I stream every single Friday. Uh, but yeah, with all that out of the way, let's kind of just get into it. Also, just a small side note. If you do enjoy this one, then please go ahead and click that like button below. It really, really does help me out a lot. So I greatly appreciate it uh, whenever you guys go do that. Because it tells YouTube that this is a good video. And then it actually goes ahead and suggests it to more people. So I really would appreciate it if you go ahead and do so. Anyway... This is going to be kind of a weird lane because we're playing a Soraka into a Misfortune or a Soraka Jin into a Misfortune and a Senna. And this basically means that we have no um, setup at all in terms of setting up kills. Uh, all we have is we have a bit of sustain and then we can try and poke whenever we have our last bullet. Uh, but for us, it's going to be much more a lane of kind of trying to just... Uh, like not die and not really oh yeah it's exactly what's going on here this is what we don't don't want happening uh but i am gonna be able to get that guy go into this burst to reset the acro of the minions and they literally just fail i'm gonna have my ability back in just one second right there it is gonna be enough hopefully let me just get close and get that kill as well really nicely so they completely overextended or overplayed their hand uh, but yeah, this lane should generally be like if if this is a higher elo, you would be seeing that, uh, that this would mostly just be coming down to uh, kind of a still lane where we as a Jin player with a Soraka can't really do anything else. And we can try and poke uh, using our Q on the back minions or uh, we can try and do like small trades and get healed up, but it, mostly just using our last shot. But overall, okay, she just took that one. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but overall, uh, not a lane where we have a lot of potential to actually initiate the fights or set up plays as such. We're mostly playing a reactive comp here. Uh, but we do have a lot of potential in terms of helping out whenever a jungle comes down here. We can do some really, really nice plays. But it was very nice that we got this advantage here in the early game. Uh, we do got to remember that even though we now have two kills, then since we haven't been back yet, these two kills are not really worth much. They just, all we are ahead right now, like in the lane, is actually just a little bit of XP. So until we can go back and actually cash in all of this gold, then it's actually fairly useless. Uh, for those of you wondering, then this game is currently, oh my god. It should be really good, actually. Okay, I'm not going to be able to catch the other guy, so I'm just going to swap target here. In... Oh, we might be able to hit this. I'm not going to... Oh, Soraka needs to be careful. She almost dies from minions here. Alright, I did have my W there, and maybe it would just be enough damage, but I highly doubt it. I don't think it would be enough. Uh, so I decided not to use it. Which might have been a big mistake on my part. But really nice that they're really overplaying their hand right now down here. It's really giving us quite a big advantage. So we have already have three kills. I want to make sure that I just try right here to shove the lane in as quickly as I can. I'm actually going to go ahead and use my bombs for it. Um, then we're going to use the Q on that one. Make sure... Oh, I thought that would be enough actually. Whoop. Going to get this and lastly get that minion. 
So now this pushed in, then we can go ahead, we can back. We actually have already 2,000 gold to go ahead and back with and cash in. This is going to be a really nice start for us. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to start building into an eclipse. Uh, I'm actually going to get my boots right away. I really want those. And then we're going to go ahead and get a control ward. This should bring us a lot more uh, control in the lane at this point. And things are just really starting to, uh, to snowball for us. But yeah, in this game, as I've said, of course, with these Road to Diamond, I'm going to try and focus a bit more on the game than actually explaining. But I'll try to let you guys in on as much as of my train or, or my train of thought, my thought process as I possibly can. But things are looking pretty well down here. We have double the farm. We have three kills. Uh, Misfortune is most likely tilted at this point, um, especially because Senna has actually been a big part of overplaying. So what we can do here is actually we don't really necessarily need to push just sitting back and holding uh as the wave it close to our turret is actually not a bad thing here oh we can do a really good play i'm gonna put the e down for the slow effect which should give us some really nice uh oh, i can turn here all right so right here i feel like i'm getting kited so i'm gonna back off i'm gonna have my w here this should be a free kill another one a another one <laughs> There are literally, at this point, we are so far ahead that it's going to be really hard for them to do much. And we can actually zone them out of out of the lane now, if that's what we wish to do. Uh, that's a really good option for us. But let's go help with Drake real quick. Uh, and I want to start being much more aware of where their Olaf is. Because since we've been pushed so far under our turret, it hasn't really been a, necessar like a necessity for me to know exactly where he is. But now that we're going to start pushing then it is going to be very, very necessary for me to, to know where he is. All right, right here, we are going to go ahead and just do as much damage as we can. Olaf just got his ult. Fairly lucky. All right, very, very good. So I think we'll actually just go back down in lane. We'll just take these two up so they don't get lost. And we'll go back down. So, so far, our farm is pretty decent. We're double the farmer's misfortune. And that's something you got to think about when playing is that farm. Of course, there is a set number that you would like to go for. Usually for me, it's somewhere around 120, 130 at 15 minutes. Uh, man, but like basically what I mean with this is that you also need to think about it relatively to how the enemy team is doing and what's been going on. So right here, seeing as I'm play playing relative to this misfortune, I have double her farm. Even if my farm, uh, even if this was 15, mi 15 minutes in, uh, then this farm would still be considered, uh, in my opinion, good in this game because I'm doing better than my opponent. Uh, and that's, at the end of the day, the most important thing. But of course, try and strive for those uh, staple numbers that you're basically like, for me, it's like 130, that's where I should be around at the 15 minutes mark. And uh, for others, I think a really good threshold for newer players is try to learn first to play for like 80 farm on 15 minutes and then for 100 on 15 minutes and then work your way up. So kind of set realistic goals for where you're at. But at this point, everything is just going completely up to or uh, going completely uh Amazing burst down here right now because everything is just kind of panning out in our favor. Uh, sorry, right, I'm gonna get this farm. I'm actually gonna go ahead, put a poke on her. Oh, this turret is really. And we're gonna start getting this uh, armor plating. One thing here is I want to keep an eye on the mid lane. We see Olaf is still in there, and literally there. Uh, support has at this point completely tilted. She's now just mid side. She's been dead four times. And Misfortune is probably also a bit tilted. So the fact that we've won our lane so hard and they screwed up. Like literally, I wouldn't even say it's because I've been playing this amazingly. Actually more because they've been playing it very, very poorly. So right here should be a free kill. There we go. Let's make sure we hit that last shot. It's super important. But like, the, honestly, we, it's not because our lane has been doing absolutely amazing. We've, we've just taken advantage of the huge mistakes that they've been doing. Uh, so that's actually all that's been happening down here. So we'll go ahead. We'll actually just shuffle forward. And the reason why I want to shuffle the lane is because I really want some of these armor platings. I feel like we're strong enough 
to uh to to basically do this especially now that we also see olaf on top uh he's right here he's right there so that's something i'm just gonna make my team aware of it uh that olaf is sitting in that tri bush probably looking i'm gonna do a q here that one's gonna hurt a ton so but there is no absolutely no pressure on us down here we know olaf is still up there so we can literally just keep this going And right now I'm prioritizing to hit the tower. And the reason why I'm doing this is because right now tower is free gold for us. We know that if we get one of these armor platings, we do get 150 gold. While going for, for kills on these guys, of course, is a really good option. But I don't have my old and I don't have anything to set up the kill except I have a little bit of poke. Uh, or I have my plane out damage. So, of course, I can go for this. But for me right now, I would say that it makes more sense just directly going for the turret, trying to get this armor plating. We have, we still have two and a half minutes more left before the uh, before the armor platings disappear, and we completely want to take advantage of this. So we'll just slowly farm up here. We'll make sure we get all our CS. Very important at this point that we don't start throwing it away. So we're just over two times Misfortune's farm at this point. She is like literally so far behind. And one thing that is a problem for us right here is even though she's this far behind, uh, she's actually not item wise that far behind because we haven't cashed in our gold yet, which is, of course, let's see, we should be able to. Okay, she's going to block it. That's going to be totally fine. I'm just going to try and put pressure here. I do want to look for a back. Now Olaf is coming down here. He's right there. We have uh, Ilari coming down here as well. So again, we are actually still in a fairly good spot. So I'm actually going to stay here and disrespect them a little bit. Because I know she's coming up behind. And so is Camille actually. Just making this into a very, very nice a free uh, turret for us. Because we have Ilari behind us. Now we should be able to literally finish this. And actually also kill this Olaf. Uh, he's going to have to go this way. Otherwise he is 100% dead. So he's going to have to run through us Ilari. I'm going to be able to stop him right there. Very nicely played by my team as well. So even though I'm sitting on way too much gold. I'm going to go ahead. We want this turret down. Also we want this Drake. We should have uh, one of our, our players go for Drake now. While we're finishing off this turret. I might not be able to finish this before. I'm actually just going to be taking one armor plating. Then I'll back off. And they should be able to get this fairly free. Alright, she's calling for help. I'm going to go there. But actually what should have happened here is. Ilari should have been the first person to go here. I uh, should have ensured that we had the Drake. But I'm going to go tank this. And ensure that we get it. So... But I'm sitting on way, 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 way too much. Like, you should never have a back like this one. Like, this is... I know for a lot of people, you might think, well, is this This must be a good back. We have 3.6k gold. We're super rich. We can now just go buy our filthy items and just go completely nuts. And of course, to a certain extent, that is correct. Like, yes, uh, we, we can buy a lot of items and we are going to become super, super strong after this. But the thing is that... It's not really like you don't want. Oops, actually, that was a wrong. Holy crap. I almost failed that. I wanted to sell this. Um, but going for it, like holding on to this much gold for that long in the early game is a super bad strategy. That is, it's a terrible strategy because the gold is not worth anything before we've backed out and used it, which means that we've actually been creating a situation where there is a world where Misfortune would be able to uh, to potentially kill us with uh, the help of her support. Uh, but again, uh, we've, we have been playing it fairly safe-ish. We've been playing mindfully. Uh, so I haven't felt like it's been that big a risk, but really you don't want to be sitting on that much gold for that long. Anyway, let's move back down in lane. I see everybody's just grouping up in top. And literally nobody's down here. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to take uh, this turret for free. This Misfortune is not able to do anything versus us at all. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just push this turret out. And then I'm going to go away. 
So my plan now is I have two options. I don't want to run that way. Uh, I have two options at this point. Ooh, I can ult this guy. I can literally, we just need to get in range and we can kill. It's going to be a hard angle, but I'm going to go for it. So we're going to aim right around this point. And right there, I can shoot the last bullet where she jumps back. Sweet. Completely free kill. We'll just take it. So go ahead. We'll push this in. Right here. We'll just do everything we can to push. Uh, and we'll have a look around the map. We have Misfortune bot. We have Ilawe top and Olaf coming in here and covering. So right at this point, what I want to do, I want to look for this, uh, for this rift. I feel like that's the best objective for us on the map right now. We can just go for killing Ilawe first. Uh, that is an option, but I think she's going to be backing out really, really soon. And she's right here. So I don't like that I'm running around by myself. I really, really do want my teammates to stick with me. So come here, I'm actually just going to try and call for my teammates right here. She's actually failing. I'm going to be putting uh, a slow thing in front of her such that if she tries to back out from this fight, she is literally just going to be running into a slow and will still catch up. So right here, the ideal thing for us to do would actually be uh, that Camille and potentially Laoi took this rift and I ran up top, took this CS and pushed in this turret. And again, we are playing at like very, very late silver. So I don't really trust my team to do the right thing. So instead, I'm going to ensure that we, we get it. Um, right here, this is actually a really nice thing. I wanted to push in this turret, that would be the safe thing, but I have a I have a feeling that this Camille is literally going to put the, the Rift in a split second. So I'm going to go down here and we're going to hope that we can push a full in hip with this, or potentially if they fail a lot, we'll be able to end the game. So that's our game plan here. We'll go ahead, we'll help out. I'll, I'll slow this guy and I'll actually just go ahead and do as much damage as I possibly can to these guys. Three seconds on our ult. This should at least give us the inhib, what we're looking for. Um, and the thing is, if we didn't go here, if we didn't go here uh, to help out, then this this rift would most likely only have hit the first uh, uh, turret and killed that one. But it looks like we are actually going to be able to uh, finish off the game. I think that the enemy team at this point are literally just kind of, uh, kind of tilted, so... We'll ensure that we do everything we can. I'm going to be using a bit of my slow here or my ease in order to to just clean out some of these minions. I'm going to use heal on my team. We're literally going to try and just sustain as much as we can. I'm going to be very careful because right here they are looking for me. And a shutdown on me at this point is a lot of gold, like 700 gold. Um, so we're going to be looking to actually turn this now. I'm going to have a free shot to literally just snipe them down. And I am going to miss half of my shots because apparently I can't hit anything. But still, it kind of kind of uh, changed that fight all around. Hopefully I can hit this. No, that was a bad shot, actually. But this should be enough for us to finish the game, 100%. Right there, and we can literally just push in this... Uh, this nexus really really nice actually closing the game at the 19.35 point like 19 minutes and 30 seconds so 19.5 uh so it's really really nice actually a really good game uh we did have some really bad backs in this game but we did play things pretty decently. We tried to keep our farm up. We made sure that our relative advantage kept being so far ahead of Misfortune that she never had a chance to come back into the game. The support tilted. Like, their whole game just literally fell apart. And then we called for the Rift, which really ended up winning us the game. Popping that early Rift in the mid side was something I ideally what I would have liked to do before going mid. It was really... It turned out really good. But at higher ELO games, then... then pushing for a victory like this is kind of unlikely. What I would have liked to do is make sure that we uh, first took out the top turret, uh, the outer turret there, got the gold there, then backed out, and then we're looking for a fight uh, or looking for somebody that we've picked off so we could create a 4v5 situation or a 3v5 situation for us or 5v3, that's how you say it. 
uh, such that we were in an advantage position and then push with the uh, rift, potentially in mid or uh, wherever else it made the most sense. But really, really nicely, the rift turned out super well, especially because we had such a big advantage that we could take these a bit uh, bold fights. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a heck of a lot of fun. This is one of the last games in silver before the promotion games. Uh, everything turned out really well, which is nice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then I would greatly appreciate if you smash that like button. And of course, if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and do so down below. Click that button, join into our awesome community and follow our journey slash adventure to diamond. And of course, if you do want to see me live, go to twitch.tv dash mups underscore live. I stream every single Friday. But with that said, all I have left to say is stay awesome, have fun, and take it easy, guys.